I remember when I was in early talks to play the part, there was certain little elements of the character and, and, and uh, powers and abilities that I, was, that I was privy to, but as we got deeper into the process, Tim started kind of pulling back the, the curtain on a lot of what he's capable of, and um, I guess the best way to describe it is it's just this evolved hybrid of the T-800 and the T-1000. Um, hard endoskeleton, uh, matte black alloy endoskeleton with a uh, uh, mercurious liquid exoskeleton that can, that can operate remotely from, from the, the central CPU, I guess. So, uh, which is really great because it's, it's this, uh, you know, this, this heightened sense of, of uh, or this heightened ability to pursue the target and triangulate the target and corner the target. And, uh, and there's really great moments in the picture where I do just that and I'm starting to kind of converge on, on, on uh, either Danny or, or Grace or whoever it may be. And All of those elements of what Grace is, is very exciting. And, um, and, and as the story unfolds, it, it, it ultimately is, is a tipping point. So I, I, I like the way they designed her as the protagonist, as the protector. And just big, big, big action, you know? Still, still uh, utilizing all of our practical, uh, uh, all of the, uh, the, you know, the, the, the skill level of our, our stunt performers and, and, and you know, uh, the, uh, you know, Mike Massa and, and Graham and all these guys that are coming on to do these incredible vehicle stunts. And, and uh, you, you saw in that viz what, what we were gonna do and how, yeah, there's gonna be a big visual effects element, but I mean, I was like, well, a lot of this we feels like we could do on camera, which turns out we did, you know, and, and we're out there on the highway and flipping four-ton trucks or whatever it is, and, and, and you know. In doing so, you, you really open it up to, uh, to exactly that, to a diverse and, and really, really strong cast that uh, resembles the world as it is. And and so we're really really excited about that, and I think that uh, I think that most most responses I've seen and the, res the response of the audience is, is this is fan you know, this is great. You know, Sarah Connor is in our film. You know, Sarah Connor is in the story. She's returned to the story, which is, for me, uh, being a huge fan of the franchise, that was. That was it for me. I mean, two years ago, we found out about that this film was being made and that she would be uh, central to the story and she would be returning. And that was, that was enough. That's all I needed to know. I mean, I joke about it all the time. I was like, my ticket was bought then. I guess, I guess now, you know, I guess now I don't have to buy a ticket, but uh, I still will. I'm sure I will just to, just because she's, she's in it. Linda Hamilton is in the film. She's fantastic in it and, uh, and, uh, it's now, it's, we're returning to form and it's, it's truly a Terminator picture now. I think people are a fan of the Terminator franchise because of what seems to be the inevitability of, of the subject matter, you know? I think even back then, people were already starting to see, okay, you know, automation, robotic, these, it, it's already going too far, you know? And here we are now when uh, I very much believe that AI has already kind of taking a pretty strong hold on us and, and is affecting the way we, we live our lives, you know? I was hugely excited by the prospect of working with Tim Miller. I mean. To me, uh, what he accomplished with Deadpool and what that film, I mean, I had discussions, I had arguments with people that year about what the best film of the year was, you know? And that movie was right up there at the top for me. There was, the action was excellent. The, uh, uh, he, the balance, you know, on a knife's edge between the comedy and the action and everything else was, was really well, well handled. And above all, I found that film to be one of the best love stories that I've probably ever seen, you know? And, uh, 
and I just, I was like, man, I, yeah, I, I knew very little about Tim before that. And then uh, had been kind of eagerly anticipating what he'd do next. And then finally, as I mentioned before, it was revealed that they were doing this film, that Linda would be in it, that Jim would be executive producing, and that Tim Miller would be directing. That was it. You know, I was like, this is going to be great. 